Spider cut. Oh my god. <laughs> Why are they on the side? <laughs> Hello everyone, we're the Continuity Crew. I'm Will. I win. Oh my god, he said it. Oh, I didn't. Uh, kind of. But that's when. And we're back after a little hiatus uh, with our reviews. And Your we've got, I guess, Big Feature Phone Podcast today. Doing Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe Origins. It's just Snake Eyes, but it, the working title was... G.I. Joe, G.I. Joe Origins. After it probably flopped a little bit, they were like, oh, well, we're not going to do more of these. I never got the um, the little, like, Origins. Like, we're going to do, like, like whenever, I guess Wolverine's the first one I can think of. That's that, what I was about to say. Uh, and, like, I remember they had other ones planned. Like, they wanted to do Magneto. They wanted to do Professor X. Would but Because Magneto would be cool. Yeah, but he's been the bad guy in all of those movies. We've yeah. seen so much Magneto. That's true. But it'd be cool. It'd be cool. Um, but I don't I've never got like the origins. And honestly, this one just felt weird. But we'll talk about that in a second. So Snake Eyes is following our main character, Snake Eyes, because we never get his name, right? Mm, no, no I don't think yeah, so. it's just Snake Eyes. Um, but it's starring Henry Golding, he's Snake Eyes, and he uh, his dad gets killed by I guess I don't even know what The it, Cobras. Yeah, well, spoiler. <laughs> I mean, they, it was it's pretty spo- obvious from the beginning. Spoiler. I gotta be honest with you. Maybe, but I didn't. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> okay. No. Um, but I thought I thought that was like I thought you'd catch up on the lore. Oh, uh, I I even I'm not versed in my GI Joe lore. Yeah, but you said it was your favorite though. So. Oh, Snake Eyes is cool, as f- but that's because he looked cool. As f- yeah, he he does. Otherwise, cool. I just like had a couple action figures when I was younger, and just like these are cool. But um, yeah. For his dad dies. Spoiler by the Cobras. But it's a whole thing, and he want, goes on a revenge path, and he works for the Yakuza, and they're like, "Oh, I can find your dad." And then he find, meets this guy Tommy, and he's like, "Oh, we're gonna go join my clan," and it goes from there. And the he does the three uh test of the what now? Because I saw the trailer like a hundred times. What now? <laughs> the, the three challenges of the warrior. Oh. He says, the three challenges of the what now? Oh, my God. Um, Man, that's not even the worst part. Oh, the man, ending dude. was the worst part. Call me Storm Shadow. <laughs> yeah. I I was I was good. Well, actually, so they alluded to that earlier in the movie. They're like, oh, what, it's always like the shadow before the storm. And I'm like, oh, oh. And then they were just like, no, call me Storm Shadow. And I'm like... The end, yeah man. well i was already up about to get out and go see yeah, old by yeah. then i was like okay movie's over the uh credits were really cool looking i'll give them that no i think they didn't fit the aesthetic at all but so you know. you, the reason why because before this we were talking about how i said that it was asian john wick basically yes. it's because they even tried to copy that style of text oh yeah they with did. like the sh- and then all that style um but the thing is, they're all about the same. The thing that made John Wick very unique when it comes to the, the whole text style stuff uh, is because they didn't do, like, the whole text looking like a McDonald's. Yeah, they did, like, one word. And yeah. I remember when I remember Like I, Baba the, Yaga. And- when I first watched the, whatever, the John Wick the first time, I was like, did those, like, correlate? But no, they just, like, highlight one word. Yeah. Which would have been I remember watching that movie. I just hated that text, it, like in John Wick. Yeah, I hated it, but then I realized oh, that movie was actually really awesome. It's a bad movie by the stretch That's of the imagination, it but it was a great. Uh, it's a great action movie. It created a whole uh, genre again, or recreated it. Yeah, and Snake Eyes tried to copy it in the first half. Well, hey, and <laughs> they did. Yeah, the first half, like the tone in this movie, just did, and the look. Just overall, the tone, like the setting, everything about it just sucked. <laughs> well, the thing is, like when when you do color correction and all that stuff, you have to have a mood for a location every yeah. every so often. Because like when you make them look the same all at the same time, then you okay, feel like old, you're in the same area. I mean, yes, there was color correction in old and subscribe because we're gonna be doing old. I don't know what order these will come out, in, but subscribe. Yeah. Um, but. Old, um, old was like consistent. I mean, of course, there's gonna be color correction elsewhere, but it didn't feel like there's at one point they were getting off a plane in Snake Eyes. I'm like, this looks like Fast and Furious Four or Bad Boys, where th- it's just like the sky is yeah. up and the ground is like yellow almost. And then we go to their like camp or where the clan is, and it's like 
basically normal and then we go into the woods and it's all foggy but they make it real dim and it's like what what are we doing here? i think the difference between old and the color correction between those two is that snake eyes had a kind of creative yeah. mistake and then old was just like a technical mistake because the guy I definitely mean, both, didn't look at yeah both can be used in the right in right ways like sticking with one theme through with look whatever or just changing it can also work really well but this was a mistake <laughs> this was definitely just i didn't even i didn't even get too deep into that uh, i just kind of watched the movie as it is as just a cheap old not cheap as an over budget yeah uh, action movie I wonder if that what the budget was. barely anyone cares about the character i mean i thought he's cool i like snake eyes yeah like snake eyes is probably a fan favorite but yeah he probably wasn't a fan favorite until the live action ones because otherwise yeah. he was just kind of like a ninja i mean honestly i don't know because gi joes were kind of like big way even before we were born yeah but everything about snake eyes for me was that the thing is in, in the first few movies he was actually my favorite yeah. i mean i don't think this is like a sequel or anything like that no, or, or prequel. part of or prequel yeah but the thing that made me like snake eyes a lot was that he didn't talk well yeah do you it was who, like this uh, mystery and snake was really eyes cool. was in the original ones mm -mm. uh ray park darth maul i don't want to know that I know. <laughs> I don't want to know that. Well, now you know. <laughs> He's not human. He's a robot. He's a mystical ghost, actually. Well, yeah. Not, I didn't honestly robot. didn't even like... I wish they just made another G.I. Joe movie. Not like this. Because, I mean, what are they going to do next? They're going to do an origin movie for Scarlet? Or like... Oh, the God, no. Uh, just speaking of Scarlet. Uh, Samar, Samar Weaving Scarlet. She's a, have you seen Ready or Not? I don't remember. I think you'd Probably like have. it. She gets married, and then they're like, we're going to play a game, and it's hide-and-seek, but they're trying to kill her as the bride. I actually think you'd really like it. It's, it's creative, and the <laughs> ending's really weird. Um, but she's a blonde, and I, the her hair, like, dyed red, just looks so bad. It just uh, It's just a carbon copy of Scarlett Johansson. But, in all fairness, G.I. Joe came out before yeah, Marvel yeah. stuff. So it did? I don't know. Black or Widow at least Black Widow. Probably was out before G.I. Joe. Or same time it would not surprise me if she was created in the 90s because that was when the whole like yeah. the russian thing was a thing yeah. Yeah. but um god this movie man this movie is very uh uh very cheap when it comes to action this director can't direct action yeah, whatsoever they, he's just not done i mean he did the divergent movies <laughs> god man good for him i guess so if you're paid right? that much mm -hmm. i mean the divergent movie apparently uh the divergent movies were yeah. Somewhat good, and the for the first one was somewhat good because they had a director yeah. that cared, but then they just hired other people. And then yeah, I don't think he did the first one. He did the other ones. Okay, fair enough. The, that, Insurgent that and Allegiant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. No, the screenplay for this movie was just so like it felt like it was changed in midway through. Yeah, like the challenges seemed like they were going to be a big part of the story yeah. and like his character development. And then the first one is like okay character building yeah sure like oh we're gonna learn it sets the basis for the clan the second one is just like oh we're gonna set up this but it's also meaningless it didn't really tell me anything yeah. and then the third one was just a bunch of snakes <laughs> yeah i still don't get that i think it was supposed to be like i think it was supposed to be uh one of those things where it sees like your soul or whatever yeah so what i was picking up what they were putting down was it was supposed to be there was a white snake a gray snake and a black snake and they're supposed to be the good side the bat dark and it's kind of like oh they're all blending in same with snake eyes being black storm shadow being white and then the girl whatever her name was um akio akiko um i think she was supposed to be a love interest but yeah it didn't feel it felt forced whenever it did feel like a love interest um, no she chemistry. wore black and white, and so it's like, oh, they're, all of these are mixing. We don't know who's good, who's bad, who's going to cross on who. Because even... <laughs> well, this the, movie has taught me that white people are bad, <laughs> or white anything white is bad. <laughs> I didn't get that. But yeah. Storm Shadow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that's also, I was like, that's confusing, because like, white's typically good, but I guess like in thematic elements of movies, but... Otherwise, no. Like it just doesn't make sense. And you really mean to f 
can tell me that the, the grandmother or whatever she is, she was like, yeah, I will be the last person in the clan or whatever. And it's like, but that's not even his fault. That's that's and dipshit also, Sneaker's fault. Also, she didn't. He didn't even kill the dude. Like, oh god, he no. used the stone. He didn't kill him. It's just I thought he did. I was like, and then they kept going on. I was like, oh, he's not dead. How did he survive? We haven't even gotten to the worst part of the movie yet, where it's like, because we go <laughs> ahead. I don't, I don't even. I don't even know what the worst part was. I think you. the feminist part yeah. was the worst for so me. So it wasn't too bad. It was fucking forced as forced hell. Forced as hell. Absolutely. It was so like. It was so blatantly obvious that that's what it was going to, because at the very, at the very, um, uh, not the beginning, but at one point she was kicking ass. Uh, yes. Scarlet was kicking yes. ass. And I can already but tell also, you that it was like before you get there. Scarlet just drops out of a plane and she's like, "Guess I'm late to the party." It's like also completely forgot that she was even coming. Also, she smashed what's his name from the corridor crew, the stunt guy, Guy De Silva's yeah. face into a briefcase. I was like, "I know that guy." Yeah, yeah. it's very. <laughs> <laughs> this movie is just okay. So we talk about the script, but let's yes. talk about the plot real quick because, yes. like, the thing is, it doesn't even. Honestly, it <laughs> the plot is not awful, but it didn't was executed very poorly. Also, like throwing the little magic ball thing for the test two that he had to follow. Remember, what? the the blind guy had a little blue magic ball that he had. It's a little wisp thingy, and Snake Eyes followed it, and that was the second challenge. And it was like, "What's your fear?" Uh, and then having a magic stone, like oh yeah, the it's the tone that I talked about earlier. Just doesn't at the very matter. beginning, you're under the impression that it's kind of grounded. Yes, where this fucking character is just gonna kick ass and all this shit, and then, and then out of snakes. nowhere, just like this floating bald thing just comes out, and it's just like oh well, I guess now we're disconnected. Uh, yeah, I guess we're now we just don't give a shit. Now it's magic, but I guess you know we should have expected that since they just beat like a hundred Yakuza That's members true. with. Nothing basically. Oh, well, God. one guy with a with a wristband <laughs> or a what do you call those things? Uh, the police things. God, they did also just did not care about people's names. No, like no. blind master. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Hard master. Oh, boy. Father. His dad didn't even have a name. He might have, but I don't remember. It's just his father on here. And he's just snake eyes. I, I don't want to continue in this movie anymore. I feel like it's just so, it's so. It feels like a Warner Brothers movie. It does. Like the also, way they f- Mortal Kombat. I realized I've seen almost all of Henry Golding's movies. <laughs> he's not in a lot, but. Oh yeah, Henry Golding, bland as hell. <laughs> also, oh my biggest discrepancy. That thanks for reminding me. Everyone, you need to pick an accent. And stay in your fucking lane. <laughs> well, I don't think I don't think Henry Golding was supposed to be Japanese. No, 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 no. I don't he, even he, know what he was supposed he to be. He wasn't. He was supposed to be, I guess, American. His he's actually British. So, but every time he like raised his voice slightly, I'm like, I could bring him back. I can tell you from wherever. I think you're from England. Don't do it. Don't do it. Or even like the, um, the bat, the Cobra chick, Baroness. Hers was, I guess, supposed to be Russian. Yeah. And I'm like, I can't tell. Are you supposed to be Russian? Are you supposed to be from Latin America? Are you American? She's I don't uh, know. Argentinian. <laughs> yeah. Well, she looks like she's got a Latin name. The actress, Ursula Cabrero. I think also there's not a lot of people speaking Japanese. No. Not all of them, are, most of them are speaking English, which, you know, it. Normally you wouldn't mind, but this is a PG-13 movie. You'd think that someone the, over the age of 13 would be able to read. Yeah. yeah. Um, a lot of discrepancies with this movie. Um, but also, um, in the end, it was a G.I. Joe movie. I didn't. I was excited, but I didn't expect expect much more than this. It, I, it was it was bland. It was flat. It had some action not good bad whatever it had some action um oh, that whole japanese compound is just a fucking giant town or a small town yeah yeah it's like, like, i like, thought this was like i thought this was just a small house 
You know? No, they just start blowing shit up too. They they have they have a whole village yeah. in that area. And I don't even know if that belonged to the family or if that was just like there. There for people knows, or man. something like that. Or it was just a giant land. Oh yeah. Also, the guy he fights in the beginning it was a WWE wrestler. He knows. Oh. Um, his name's Dean Mutadi. Um, but he wrestled as Mojo Raleigh, and he's friends with Gronkowski. Nice. But uh, as soon as I saw him, I'm like, is that? And I'm like, it is. And then he got his ass beat. I was like, that's cool. But also, in that scene, Henry Golden gets freaking thrown into a sl- cinder block like head first, and he's just fine. Yeah. I'm like cap. Yeah, he's got powers, I guess. I don't know. Is this the whole cast? Oh yeah, everyone's flying too out of nowhere. Yeah, he freaking like, Snake Eyes like jumps like fifteen feet in the air and then kicks like the Yakuza member in the face. No, it's that lady, the whatever her name is. She just like jumps to a second story building. Oh yeah, on the second yeah. floor, and then like Akiko. just stands, uh, just do, does a split, and then drops on the people, and it's like. Well, I thought you guys were going for like the whole ninja thing where nobody was gonna be goofy as shit from like yeah, the nineties. Like they went for the not goofy, the grounded, and then they went for hidden tiger or hidden dragon crouching whatever, you know. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, crouching tiger, hidden dragon. That's the one. And then they flipped it for the sequel. Um <laughs> which I heard wasn't good. Um but don't watch this movie, please. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend this. Overall, what came out this week, we still... I don't think we're going to do a review on it, but we didn't haven't seen Joe Bell, which is the Mark Wahlberg one that I think we both kind of wanted to see. The, um, and then Old. I'd probably say Old's the recommendation this weekend uh, or last weekend since we're a little late. But uh, There was a group of kids that was sitting right next to me, and they were like, dude, do you know what this is about? And I'm like, something about G.I. Joe... Snake Eyes, I don't know if you guys are familiar, they're like 16. Yeah. And they were literally just there because they got kicked out of the previous movie they were in because it wasn't PG, it was, they weren't yeah, it was age. R. Yeah, yeah, it was R. So they, they were just like, I oh, would just pick this because it was PG-13. And I was about to tell them, just go watch Old or something because that's probably better than this yeah. piece of shit. Yeah, but um, yeah, Old was better. A little tease for the yeah. future. Um, But, uh, well, just speaking of that, um, the, I walked out of the theater after watching Old, and this guy says to me, uh, I don't know why he talked to me in the first place either. Do you, he's like, do you know why there's like the black bars on the top of the screen? And I'm like, are they for most movies? And I was like, and he was like, well, the last one, a few we saw, they didn't have them. I'm like, oh, well, it's just like a formatting thing. It's like the ratio. It's how you film. And he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then he's like, Okay, I gotta go. And he got in a car with, I guess, his mom and left. And the dude looked probably like in his 30s. He would get really pissed watching Transformers. Or, uh, it changes so often. Uh, <laughs> Good Snyder cut. Oh my God. <laughs> He's, Why are they on the side? <laughs> no, like, I don't know if you know. If, have you. When was the last time you watched Transformers? It's been a while, but I know it changes. Yeah, yeah. Michael Bay well, is a dipshit. And then I, I went and saw this in IMAX, Snake Eyes in IMAX alone, and it was um, it was awesome because I got to laugh at the absolutely absurd parts. Like, they were uh, funny. Like the storm shadow thing, like the oh, tease. Yeah. I laughed at that. Or he said something about going to kill somebody or like, I'm going to take my revenge, Storm Shadow did, and I, was, I just laughed. I was like, oh, my God. So just call me Storm Shadow. <laughs> yeah. He, that dude is not menacing. He's not. I'm sorry. There was like a couple of shots where he was like looking at a screen and his bright his face was brightly colored. If he had kept the beard. I guess, yeah. He was but better even, with a beard and he but looked even like, still, I'm just like, I could kick your ass. <laughs> he tried so hard to be menacing. He was like the entire time, the entire movie, he was just like this. Let's his head was down. just down and he just Yeah, whatever. This Poorly directed, poorly written. Uh, cinematography was, I guess, all right. And then, yeah, it's better than old. Yeah. Uh, for so, I'd say it's 50-50. Old was just back. a really annoying movie. It was basic. It was M. Night Shyamalan. And we'll get to that. Like I said, subscribe. But when? Out of 10, Snake Eyes, critical review. Ten kat- Out of one out of 10 katanas. How many katanas would you get? None. <laughs> Zero katanas? We're going with katanas? No. Okay, Zero. one out of ten. What would you say? Uh, three. Three? Yeah. I yeah. I'm gonna give it because like the thing is one like ten katanas wouldn't do shit. 
like yeah. apparently. Yeah, so. no, snake eyes would eat them. Oh yeah, then when they're stabbing them in the truck. Um, oh my god! I'm like, how do you not hit them? There's like 50 katanas, but I run them over. Yeah, yeah. Also that, but um, yeah. I'm, I'm. I'd say, I was leaning towards a three, but now that I'm out of the theater, I'm like, it's not as that bad. I'm gonna give it a four, but like my. That's still bad. It's still bad, absolutely. It's not even middle of the road. But then my uh, enjoyment, like, out of 10, I'm going to say, like, a 2. <laughs> it's just lower. This isn't even the best G.I. Joe movie. It's the one with The Rock. I don't know. He has a goddamn tank. They had Bruce Willis in that movie. They did. I but... thought that was incredible. <laughs> they had the two most highly paid bald dudes in Hollywood Yeah. in one movie. They should have just called it Bald the Movie. Yeah, Joe Bald. But anyways, that's our Snake Eyes review. Thank y'all for watching. We've been the Continuity Crew. I'm Will. Hi. That's when. Like, comment, subscribe. Do it. Do it now. Do it now. Please. Thank you. Uh, watch out for our next uh, um, Continuity Crew podcast. We're going to be talking about actors with hair back in the day. Oh, yeah. That's a- <laughs> Bruce Willis. I don't know. We could do something. Something about actors. That's a good idea. We'll work on it. Anyways, thank y'all for watching. Like I said, we've been the Continuity Crew. We love movies. We love y'all. We'll see y'all in the next one.